Curtis SOC Seagull. Specifications. Power Plant. 1 times Pratt Whitney R134018 single row, 9 cylinder, air cooled, 600 horsepower, 450 kilowatts, radial engine. Length. 31 feet 5 inches. Wingspan. 36 feet 0 inches. Height. 14 feet 9 inches. Wing area. 342 square feet. Crew. 2. Pilot and observer. Empty weight. 3,788 pounds. Gross weight. 5,437 pounds. Maximum speed. 165 miles per hour at 5,000 feet. Cruise speed. 133 miles per hour. Stall speed. 55.9 miles per hour. Range. 675 miles at 5,000 feet. Service ceiling. 14,900 feet. Rate of climb. 915 feet per minute. Armament. Guns. 1 times fixed, forward firing 0.30 in Browning M2 and, and 1 times flexible mounted rear firing 0.30 in Browning M2 and machine gun. Bombs. 2 times 100 pounds bombs or 325 LB depth charges underwing depth bombs. Curtis SOC Seagull. History of the aircraft. The Curtis SOC Seagull was an American single-engine scout observation seaplane, designed by Alexander Sola of the Curtis Wright Corporation for the United States Navy. The aircraft served on battleships and cruisers in a seaplane configuration, being launched by catapult and recovered from a sea landing. The wings folded back against the fuselage for storage aboard ship. When based ashore or on carriers the single float was replaced by fixed-wheeled landing gear. Curtis delivered 258 SOC aircraft, in versions SOC-1 through SOC-4, beginning in 1935. The SOC-3 design was the basis of the Naval Aircraft Factory Sun-1 variant, of which the NAF delivered 64 aircraft from 1940. Curtis delivered 258 SOC aircraft, in versions SOC-1 through SOC-4, beginning in 1935. The SOC-3 design was the basis of the Naval Aircraft Factory Sun-1 variant, of which the NAF delivered 64 aircraft from 1940. The prototype HOZS-1 with a 9-cylinder Pratt Whitney R134012 engine was tested in April 1934. The plane was equipped with amphibious landing gear, the retractable main wheels were on each side of the central float, there was also a non-retractable tailwheel. The first ship the SOC was assigned to was the light cruiser USS Marblehead in November 1935. By the end of the decade, the SOC had replaced its predecessor throughout the fleet. By 1941 most battleships had transitioned to the Vought OS-2 U Kingfisher and cruisers were expected to replace their aging SOCs with the third generation SO-3C Seamew. The SO-3C however suffered from a weak engine and plans to adopt it as a replacement were scrapped. The SOC despite belonging to an earlier generation, went on to execute its missions of gunfire observation and limited-range scouting missions. Through the first six months of naval service, the SOC was known as the XO-3C-1. The designation was changed to SOC when it was decided to merge its scouting and observation roles. The SOC was not called the Seagull until 1941 when the U.S. Navy began the wholesale adoption of popular names for aircraft in addition to their alphanumeric designations. The name Seagull had earlier been given to two civil Curtis aircraft, a Curtis Model 18 and a Model 25, both converted Curtis MF flying boats. When operating as a seaplane, returning SOCs would land on the relatively smooth ocean surface created on the sheltered side of the vessel as it made a wide turn, after which the aircraft would be winched back onto the deck. When the SOC was replaced by the OS-2U Kingfisher, most remaining airframes were converted into trainers, they remained in use until 1945. With the failure of the Curtis SO-3C Seamew, many SOCs in second line service were returned to frontline units starting in late 1943. They saw service aboard warships in the combat zone for the rest of World War II. Even before the United States entered the war, Seagulls had participated in neutrality patrols in the Atlantic. After December 7, 1941, 
the main theater of their combat use was the Pacific. In their role as shipboard reconnaissance correctors, the Seagulls took part in battles in the Marshall Islands, the Gilbert Islands, Guadalcanal, and Wake, as well as in the Aleutian Islands. In addition, the planes were engaged for anti-submarine surveillance, flying with a pair of suspended depth bombs. During 1942 the SOCs were gradually replaced by more modern machines, and the Seagulls were converted to decks for service on escort carriers. The first American ship of this class, the Long Island, received 12 SOC 3As, operated in conjunction with F 2A 2 Buffalo fighters. The Curtis SOC Seagull was a kind of transition from the biplanes of the early 1930s to the monoplane of the early 1940s. Its career proved to be quite long, and after enlisting as a ship's scout corrector, the Seagull stayed on extra duty and was operated as an anti submarine deck vehicle. Curtis SOC Seagull Aircraft Modifications XO3C1, Curtis Model 71. Prototype aircraft, powered by 550 horsepower, 410 kilowatts, Pratt Whitney R134012 engine. SOC1, Curtis Model 71A. Initial production version, with 550 horsepower, 410 kilowatts, Pratt Whitney R134018 engine enclosed in NACA cowling. SOC2, Curtis Model 71B. Minor changes, with R134022 engine. 40 built, wheeled undercarriage only. XSO2C1, Curtis Model 71C. Improved version. One prototype only, no production. SOC3, Curtis Model 71E. Similar to SOC2, but with interchangeable undercarriage. 83 built by Curtis as SOC-3 with further 64 built by the Naval Aircraft Factory as the Sun-1. SOC-3A All SOC-4s were transferred to the U.S. Navy in 1942, Buno 48243, 48244, 48245, respectively, which modified them SOC-3A standard, meaning the fitting of a deck arrestor gear. SOC-4, Curtis Model 71F, the U.S. Coast Guard acquired the final three SOC-3 Seagulls produced by Curtis in 1938 and these were designated as SOC-4s. SO-2C, one built for evaluation based on the SOC-3, but with a 5-foot fuselage stretch and powered by AR-134035. Sun-1, SOC-3 aircraft produced by the Naval Aircraft Factory, 64 built. 